Hello and welcome to episode 18 of Sir Smuggler's Let's Play. Today I'm going to finish up my peak production and the automation of that. So to begin with I want to construct a couple of peat fire engines. So I'm going to need four gears, I'm going to need a couple of pistons, two pieces of glass and a whole lot of uh, copper. Uh, let's see, that should be enough. Yep. So, copper gears is what we want. Pistons, well it's the usual engine recipe, you've seen this before. There we go, pit fired engines. And I've uh, prepared a little bit by connecting up uh, pipes underground to the logistics network so that uh, we have a connection there ready. As you can see here. So this one runs right back and connects to the main uh, system. And I also installed a supplier pipe under the peat bog and told it to make sure we have at least 32 bog earth uh, in here at all times. And right now we have a lot more but that's okay. And uh, a chest. So when this uh, turbatory uh, harvests peat, it's going to deposit uh, any peat into this chest. And uh, when you harvest peat, it leaves uh, dirt blocks instead. So when this uh, peat uh, bog replaces the dirt with the new uh, bog earth, the dirt is deposited into this chest. So I put a uh, provider pipe underneath the chest so that anything in the chest is available to the network. And these two machines need power to run. So we're going to set up engines. Let's just see where I want them now. Uh, one there and... I suppose I can put one there. And this uh, need uh, peat to, to run. And uh, so we want to set up uh, an automatic resupply of peat there. So let's just out our supplier pipes again and connect them up and then let's tell it to keep oh I don't have any peat with me do I no I do not uh, I'll be right back and now that I have some peat with me I can tell this pipe to supply this guy with I don't know four pieces of peat and the same here So now we should have peat coming in very soon. Yep. Excellent. And this peat is from what I harvested manually earlier. So. Okay, and what else? Well, we need, uh, of course, redstone signal to activate the engines. And, uh, well, uh, we could just set up uh, levers or something, but I want to automate this a little bit more. So I was thinking, uh, when this chest here is going to fill up with uh, peat as we produce it, and 
if ever this chest would become full, there is really no need to keep running the peat bog, because then we obviously have more than enough peat. So what I want to do is uh, dig down a little bit here and place one of these nifty buildcraft gates on here and some red pipe wire. So and that got me the pipe. Hmm. Maybe that's because I'm holding the wrench. Yeah, there we go. So I want to tell this gate when the inventory is full, uh, send a pipe signal. Or actually, let's just do it this way. When there's space in the inventory, then you can send the red pipe signal. And let's just dig around a bit more here, clear out. I'm going to fill this up later, but to have something to work with right now, it's easier to do it this way. And it looks like I'm missing a few pieces of pipes that I wanted to have with me. But I'm going to connect the wire here to begin with, like so. And I'll be right back. So I got myself a couple of structure pipes. And I want to place them like so. And uh, of course, wire goes up there. And then finally a gate. And I can tell it when you have the red pipe signal, you can send out a redstone signal. Like so. So that should keep our engines running. And harvesting peat. So if we look here, you see we get some peat coming in. And you see it's uh, being replaced by dirt to begin with. And once the peat bog starts to realize it got some work to do, it's going to replace it with new fresh bog earth. At least that's what I'm hoping. hoping. Yep, there we go. It just takes a while for it to start up. So now this entire system is automated. And uh, I wonder where the dirt is going. Oh yeah, it stays in here. So I'm going to have to... I thought it would dump the, that back into this chest automatically, but uh, I guess not. So I might have to pump that out somehow. Yeah. So I'm going to have to figure out a good way to solve that problem and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so it uh, turns out I don't need to do much at all actually because uh, the peat bog will output the dirt into any connected pipe. Well, not on the bottom obviously, but if I just connect it up like so, it should uh, pump out any dirt. Now it's going to be a while before it's got any more harvesting to do, so we'll just see if that works, but it should work. Uh, maybe we could, uh, you know, provoke it a little bit. So if I take out some dirt out of my bag there and put it in there. Yep, it immediately throws it out into the pipe there. And that should uh, then route it back to my main storage area. Yep. So that's great. We got a fully automated uh, peat farm. Excellent. And uh, one uh, 
complete bog running at uh, all times like this is enough to power approximately 10 uh, peat-fired engines. So we could put up 8 more of these and have this one supply all the fuel we need for it. So I'm going to fix up the floor here and make it look nice again. And uh, then I think I want to start a tree farm as well because, uh, well, I'm const constantly running low on wood and uh, it's a pain having to go out and cut wood by manually when I can automate it. So, uh, yeah, I'll prepare that a little bit and I'll be right back. So the peat bog is finished and uh, tidied up and uh, well it's a peat bog it's gonna be damp of course there will be moss growing looks kind of neat I think so yeah I'll go sleep through the night and uh, then I'll get started with the tree farm it's gonna be somewhere around here so I built this little platform filled out the indentation in the ground here so I'll be back and uh, start on the tree farm real soon. So it's time to start with that uh, tree farm. And uh, it's a rather expensive thing actually. I'm gonna need four gold, uh, four diamonds, we want eight pieces of glass, and a couple of sturdy machines. And that should be all we need for now. Come on, give me my sturdy machines. And where's the second one? There we go. And let's see. Stir machine. Glass. And gold in the corners. This will give us the arboretum. This is the thing that is uh, planting the trees. And then the diamonds gives us the logger. That's the one that harvests trees and saplings and stuff. So, and of course we got some spillover from these grinders, they are kind of overworked. All the more reason to get uh, all these farms ready so we can start with uh, some uh, biofuel production. Because that is uh, kind of the goal of this exercise. And I've marked up a spot here where the arboretum is going to go. Just so I know exactly where to place it. Right there. And uh, I'm going to dig down and connect the, some pipes to the network. And I'll be back when that's done. So here is the pipeline connecting the peat bog with the rest of the network. So I'm just going to hook in right here. And remember that you need to have a basic logistics pipe in every intersection. Otherwise the network will be confused and things will not work properly. I can assure you that. So I'm just going to fix these pipes and uh, also, we're gonna have to do something about, well, the arboretum needs uh, humus to run. So we're gonna have to look in on how we produce that. So let's do that next. Now, there is a couple of different ways you can produce humus, just like uh, there's a couple of different recipes for bog earth. But I'm going to go with uh, the same principle as bog earth, that is 
to do it with uh, mulch. So mulch surrounded by dirt will give me nine humus. Now I am gonna automate the production of uh, humus and bog earth eventually, but uh, for now I'm gonna keep it manual. So let's just give this guy some fuel. And he should start producing. Yeah. So let me just produce a bunch of humus and I'll be right back. So I'm back with a few more of the items I need. And so let's see, we want a supplier pipe. Of course, connected to our peat bog. No, sorry, Arboretum. And uh, let's see. So we want this guy to be supplied with uh, humus and also saplings. So I'm going to tell it to keep, uh, I don't know, 32 perhaps is a good number of those. And uh, two saplings and it's getting dark so I'm gonna go sleep and I'll be right back so I got a few more items we're gonna need and let's just see where we want to place the logger and uh, a chest So I think it would be nice to have it just like so. Yeah, that should work fine. So let's for now just dump all these saplings and stuff into this chest. And we're gonna have uh, a provider pipe on this chest like so and uh, yeah as you see it supplies the saplings that we requested it to do so and of course now we need to connect up the main line here so we can get the humus back here as well right there like so and in a few seconds we should get uh, humus and of course we're gonna need to power this thing as well and as you see humus is coming in here and it should be going in the right uh, compartment automatically. So we want to set up our engines like so. And these are also peat fired engines. So they'll get their fuel from the peat bog. And let's make sure we got room here to connect everything. suppliers on these as well and I'm just going to get some peat from over here so we can set it up correctly so you are going to keep four pieces of peat and so are you that little piece of sandstone is annoying me so I'm gonna have to pick it up so much better and what else um, yeah I want to do the same thing uh, with this chest here as we did back there to protect from overflow so I'm gonna get uh, a couple of iron gates to 
and pipe, pipe wire so that these engines will only run if there is enough room in this chest for more wood and uh, saplings because the logger will deposit anything it harvests into the chest so I'm just gonna get those gates and I'll be back so it's gonna be the exact same procedure here as I did uh, back in the for the pit bog so gate there and uh, some wires And to get it up here, we switch to the structure pipe. And there it goes. And of course, we need to configure the gate, tell it if there is space in this inventory, send a red pipe signal. Then I put a gate here, telling it if you receive a red pipe signal, send a redstone signal. So that should be it. Well, there's one more thing. Let's see here. Yeah, the logger. No, wait, the... Arboretum. The logger, when the logger, or rather when a tree grows from the saplings, the uh, did I get this wrong? Damn, that was not what I wanted it to do. Uh, hold it right there. Okay, so the tree farm obviously is a bit smaller than uh, the other farms. It only builds a 2x2 row instead of 3x3. Three three. So I think I'm going to move the entire structure one block over so that it's right adjacent to this stone uh, divider here. So I'm going to have to fix that and I'll be back. So now we should be Good, I hope. Let's just see. So, it's uh, working as intended now. And as I was explaining earlier, or at least trying to, and failing miserably probably, uh, when a tree grows out of this humus, uh, the humus is going to be replaced by a block of sand. And of course the arboretum here is going to replace that sand with new, a new piece of humus. And the sand it's going to spit out to a connected pipe. So let's just do that like so. So the sand will then go straight back into the network. Just like the peat bog. And uh, that means, of course, the peat bog is uh, producing a surplus of dirt and the arboretum is producing uh, a surplus of sand. And as it happens to be, sand and dirt is what you use to make more peat, uh, more bog earth and more humus. So that's kind of a nice symbiosis going on there. And as I said, as I said, I'm going to uh, automate the production of uh, bog earth and humus, but uh, that will be a bit later. For now, I'm just happy to have this nice automated tree farm. And it's going to be a lot of extra saplings as well, and that's what we're going to use for uh, our production of biofuel. So, and my arboretum is 
working really well now. And I cleaned up the flooring a bit and uh, yeah, uh, probably want to place a few more torches just to make it look good. Because you know, I want it to look good. So anyway, uh, as you can see it also produces a few apples every now and then, which is kind of nice. Uh, Next, I think I want to start with the biofuel production since we now have all the prerequisites to get that going nicely. But I'm gonna save that for next episode, so until next time, bye bye!